Hello everybody, welcome to Retro Weekly. I am your host Riley from Daddy Page and or the Gamer Squad. We're spicing it up with the top 10 uh, the scariest things in non-horror video games. There's only one rule that it cannot be a horror game. Uh, if you disagree on my opinion, uh, then please keep your co rude comments to yourself. And, well, let's begin. One other thing, I said I was going to do top 10 list. Uh, this Retro Weekly thing isn't just going to be uh, reviews and thoughts. I might throw in some top 10s here and there, because top 10s are fun. I think we all like them. So, without further ado, let's start the top 10 scariest things in non-horror games. Yeah. Number 10. So, you're playing Super Paper Mario, and you come across this little green girl. Nothing seems wrong about it, except for when this happens, when she cracks her head, and then... this. Yeah. Can't be worse, can it? What? Whoa! <coughs> this only gets number 10 on my list, because there are other creepier things out here, and it's not as creepy or scary as it, it just is... kind of disturbing. For a better word. Number nine. You're playing Super Mario 64, the greatest game of all time. You're in Boo's haunted house. Kinda unsettling music, but still extremely fun and happy, and still has an upbeat feel to it. And then you enter this one specific room, and then it happens. Seriously, Nintendo, seriously? I'm afraid of pianos now. Thanks. Number 8. You're playing Super Metroid, having yourself a jolly good time, and then this happens. La 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 la. Holy Jesus, mother on flapjacks, rye bread, chicken noodle soup monkeys. Why would you do this to me? I I'm done. Done. You can show me bugs, pianos, but why? Why must you show me this? Number seven. Now, before I ramble on about number seven, which is Lavender Town from Pokemon Red and Blue, please, scary is not scary to everyone. Everybody has their different scary, but Lavender Town is scary to me because of all these weird rumors about white hands and creepy Pokemon about apparently they die instead of faint. Somebody even saying, give me blood. <laughs> and although nothing is wrong about Lavender Town, about nothing is haunted, people do make stories and those stories do seem true. And trust me, they're pretty scary. Uh, Lavender Town does deserve a place on my list, whether you think it's scary or not. Number six. All right, I know this isn't number one. Sue me. I'll admit the music is scary. I'll admit it is scary for a kid's game. But hear me out. There are scarier things, and I did not grow up with Earthbound, so I don't wouldn't have been traumatized by this. And I'm also citing the fact. That it looks like a vagina. I mean, yeah, I do think I this is scary. And he does deserve a place on this list, just not number one. Oh, and also. <laughs> Poo. Number five. Alright, if you haven't played the game, you wouldn't understand, but Portal is scary by itself only because you feel so alone while playing it. You're the only human. For miles. Or at least, that's what you're told. Okay, yeah. Doug Ratman. Now, the story behind Doug Ratman is he was uh, a human that is currently in the building, and he lost his medication, so he's kind of gone crazy. He leaves little dens, or what that's what they're called, all over uh, the facility. You can find these dens, and they're just disturbing. And no, this is not a horror game at all. Man. 
Number four. Now, I know what many of you are saying. Riley, Batman Arkham Asylum is a horror game. No, it's not. How could you not expect me to put this on my list? Now, before we start, Batman Arkham Asylum is no horror game at all. It is strictly an action-adventure game. Ask anybody. Well, don't ask anybody, but in my opinion, it is not a horror game. Let's begin. Some of you who know me best know that I think Batman Arkham Asylum is my favorite game. Now, throughout the whole game, there's a character named Scarecrow, Dr. Jonathan Crane, who messes with Batman's mind. This is this what is playing right now is his third encounter when Batman gets shot and brought back to life and brought into the Scarecrow world. Now, Scarecrow's story is huge, Scarecrow's role is huge, so if you want to know more, look up a walkthrough, look him up, play the game, something. But Scarecrow is extremely scary. I did not think of seeing this in a game like Batman. I, is this a new game? Is, a, is this a whole another game? Scarecrow is awesome, okay? And basically, this is a boss fight, too. So, Scarecrow looks with his light vision goggles, I guess, and you have to dodge it. And it is pretty much the coolest thing ever. I'm sorry, I'm fanboying the crap out of this. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, this... Ugh, just enjoy the footage. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Number three. Some of you may not agree with me on this one because it's so high up on this list, but this scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. Uh, an enemy that I can actually read your freaking mind? Or, well, I mean, he reads your memory card, but we didn't know that as kids. He could seriously go into your brain, or at least that's what I thought. I felt like he was manipulating my mind and making it open to more evil and death and blah. Number two. You're just playing Legends of Zelda Ocarina of Time and nothing seems really wrong until you see it. Is it legal to have something like this in a video game? <sighs> Number one! Oh no. Oh please god no, oh no. Please god no, please. Oh god no, please. Please god no, please. Oh god no. No! -ho -ho. You... Had to expect me to put this as, as at least number one. The whole game of Majora's Mask! I mean, everything is scary about this game. The moon, the creepy... Everything is scary about this game! If you say, come over to my house, I got a scary game, it's called Limbo, I'd be like, nah! If you say, come over to my house, I got a scary game, it's called Majora's Mask, I'd be like, aha, uh -huh, I'm listening, boy! We don't talk about the Fight Club. Honestly, I fully believe that Majora's Mask deserves to be first on this list. It doesn't matter if you're Gygus, the frickin' piano, or the... Mother brain, if you give me Majora's Mask, I will pee my pants. Nobody can tell me otherwise. <sighs> this has been Riley from Retro Weekly, and I will see you all later. Subscribe to this channel and enjoy the footage. Goodbye. This episode was hard to make, so subscribe to the Gamer Squad or else.